Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your patience. Um, I would like to introduce you, Ms. Elizabeth Speher, the Special Representative of the Secretary General in Cyprus and Head of UNCIFID, uh, Special Advisor of the Secretary General in Cyprus. She will be giving a brief statement uh, following her meeting with the Security Council. Due to time constraint, please be aware that there will be no questions following her statement. Thank you for your understanding and cooperation. Thank you very much. Good morning. As you know, I've just concluded a briefing to the Security Council on Cyprus in closed consultations. I had a good and constructive discussion with the members of the Security Council on the state of play and on recent developments on Cyprus. I was very pleased to have been able to brief the Council in person after not having been able to do so for the past two sessions due to COVID-19. The Council members expressed strong support for the work of the two missions and for the Secretary General's efforts to revive the peace process. These are difficult times. The COVID-19 pandemic continues to have a significant impact on Cyprus, as in many parts of the world. There are also significant challenges on Cyprus with respect to the peace process. As you know, there have been no peace talks for more than four years and the situation has become much more complicated. After the informal 5 plus 1 meeting hosted by the Secretary General in Geneva in April, consultations continue in an effort to find common ground on the way forward. As you also know, the Secretary General remains committed to assist the parties in reaching a comprehensive settlement and remains guided by the relevant Security Council resolutions which have established the United Nations parameters. As you can appreciate, I briefed the Council on the most recent developments with respect to Varosha, both with respect to the situation on the ground as observed by our UN peacekeepers and on the various statements and announcements of intent for the fenced off area. I express the Secretariat's deep concern over the recent developments and their negative impact on the relations between the parties and the possibilities to return to viable settlement talks. The Council is still deliberating on the issue of Varosha, and the Secretariat will make further announcements in due course. I recalled to the Council that the Secretary General has consistently called on the, on the parties to avoid any unilateral actions that could increase tech tensions and derail the efforts to continue the dialogue in search of common ground, including in Varosha. As this was my last briefing in this capacity, I thank the Council for their strong cooperation and support for my work and for the work of the two missions on the ground over these past years, and thank you very much. Madam Spe 